How are we doing so far? Let's talk about death. The death of you. The way we can know if we are successfully moving through the birthing pains of awakening is by observing what is showing up in our panoramic view, both internally and externally, from sunrise to sunset and everything in between. Our awakening process even continues as we sleep, as we drift off into another dream world to sort out the rough edges of our unconscious mind. In using the analogy of the butterfly in this material, we've mentioned the journey of the butterfly eventually emerging from its cocoon. Yet, before this can happen, a death of the old must first occur. The caterpillar must let go of ways of being in order to transform. Its old body is broken down with secretive juices and has literally digested itself from the inside out. As the fluid breaks down the old body, new cells are formed, and through this natural process of letting go, a newly elevated expression of life is created through this beautiful resurrection. What part of us is willing to die? As we go through our awakening process, we are going through a death of sorts, the death of old parts of us. We cannot take the old parts of us to where we are going, no more than a butterfly can carry the old shadows of the cocoon on its back. Imagine how that would hinder the spread of its marvelous wings to now ready take flight. Just as a butterfly, through our awakening process, we must also be willing to let go of the cocoon of our old belief systems that have kept our heart in the shadows of doubt and fear. The feeling that we are literally dying can be a very real feeling through this process known as awakening. We are in fact awakening multiple layers of our complete being, which include the layers of emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual intelligences. As we work through these layers, we will experience various symptoms or sensations Although, as mentioned before, not everyone will experience the same sensations in the same way or for the same time periods. Let's briefly outline the four bodies to offer examples of how these can be affected during our awakening process. Let's first start with our emotions. During our awakening, walls of unresolved emotion within our heart will finally break down and crumble leaving our once buried feelings exposed to the elements, raw, real, and vulnerable. Everyone will experience this differently. Some may literally experience a nervous breakdown, while others may have the occasional moody day. And if not attended to, these can create a dominoes effect, cascading into things such as depression, anxiety, and other awakening symptoms that can leave us feeling emotionally unsettled. Oftentimes, we may even think we're going crazy. And these experiences may try to become a part of our personified beliefs about ourselves. The important thing to remember, no matter what is showing up on a higher level, you know exactly what you are doing. As we address the mental aspect of our body, the mental walls of worldly conditioning must also come down. In this, we are called to release the fears of the false ego detaching from illusionary power of the external world. This means no longer allowing things that once triggered us to spiral downward into negative emotions. We are instead being called to invite the divine mind of the infinite self to integrate its energy within our circuitry systems of our physical and spiritual body. Ultimately, with this integration of mind, body, and spirit, we can now communicate clearly as one divine body. Think of this integration as the perfect triangle of communication, completely balanced and whole. In this shift, 
we are unplugging our personal perceptions of the physical matrix and instead going inward to reestablish a foundational relationship with the divine mind of the I am presence within. In the awakening process, we are also invited to elevate our physical bodies to the highest degree possible in any given lifetime. The physical body learns to move into higher frequencies of being, understanding what is truly possible. We come to learn how to honor and master the physical body to a new level. We, in essence, are learning to resurrect ourselves just as the one we know as Jesus resurrected himself. Through this process, or co-creating shifts within our physical DNA, we are crossing boundaries unknown to mankind. We may experience uncomfortable sensations as negative energies work their way out of the physical circuitry systems of our cells. As a simple analogy, imagine negative energy in our physical body as long barbed silver embedded into our flesh. As it pierces our body and anchors itself there for so long that it's festered into an energetic infection, the energy of this infection oozes its way out of our physical body and it can be quite uncomfortable. Hence the unexplainable aches and pains that we have from time to time. If the energetic sliver stays within our bodies, then disease occurs due to the breakages within our circuitry systems. In our awakening, some may experience physical indicators to one degree or another. I found that the most powerful way to ease any physical discomfort is through the power of gratitude. I am just touching on the powerful energy of gratitude right now. However, we will explain more about this a little bit later. And finally, we address the spiritual layers that are part of our body systems as well. In this shift, there are many who will move from atheist to believer, from religious to spiritual, from agnostic to pagan, and so on. Sometimes an individual will go through many shifts to a space of contentment and then continue on further to gradual spiritual expansion and awareness of the soul that is housed within. Shifts in belief systems can feel like a death, especially if those belief systems have been ingrained in us since birth. We are essentially leaving the tribal traditions or social conditionings and uprooting from everything we were ever taught. This shift can be painfully riddled with feelings of shame, guilt, and secrecy on our part for fear of disappointing those we love. Leaving our tribal traditions can feel like we are leaving our loved ones behind by severing the once adopted belief systems that we faithfully and obediently lived in exchange for the acceptance from our tribal family. It can leave us with feelings of exclusion as we have severed our portion of the branch from our family tree. We are now an orphan, or so it may seem. Don't lose heart. In this shift, you are simply finding your way back to the inner heart that has been calling you to come home. Through our awakening process, individually and collectively, we must get lost in order to be found. We must detach from everything we once knew as truth in order to reconnect with the most authentic parts of ourselves. We must go inside like the butterfly, allowing our old systems to be broken down piece by piece until we lose any idea of limitation. Yes, our four bodies will most definitely experience what can feel like a death that will bring us through an unforgettable transformation, just like the butterfly. This transformation is one we can no longer ignore as the vibrations of our bodies push us through our individual and collective transformation. The contraction pains of birthing our true selves is moving us into what we were always meant to be, a conscious being with a new body integrated as one. Thank you.